Hello, I'm Dennis O'Connor, and I'm here to talk with you about how to manage your online social reputation. So reputations are built with the product of your behavior on the internet. And so if you choose how to act in a way that reflects your values, and you choose a responsible and interesting network to focus your work, you can not only establish an online reputation, but build it. Let's start by taking a look at the most powerful uh, online network in terms of uh, social presence in the business world, and that is uh, LinkedIn. With LinkedIn, you're able to present your resume, connect with like-minded groups, and highly interact with those groups and discussions that reflect your values and your expertise. And this is the key to any social group. You must be an active participant, and you must have something to say something to share. Now, how do you go about measuring what you've established in a social network like LinkedIn or in some of the others? In that case, there are systems like Clout. Let's take a look at Clout. With Clout, they are measuring your activity across a number of social networks. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, YouTube, Tumblr, blogs, WordPress, all of these are ways to create content that broadcasts your message and reflects your values. And again, it is about broadcasting your message and reflecting your values, being true to yourself and making sure that you understand that whatever you do online is public. Cloud is one measure that is very popular among people involved in social media. Um, another way to measure your online reputation is with a system like TrustCloud. What they're doing is trying to measure your virtuous online behavior and find places where you're held accountable for that behavior. I found in particular that they measured my eBay activity to be interesting. And I'm glad that when I was selling antique car parts online, I had very high reviews from my customers. That all got factored into my trust cloud. Now, this is, again, a social system that is supposed to build your reputation within a sharing economy, places where people make a judgment about you, whether they're going to trust you to do business with you or not. All of this comes down to a snapshot of how to measure your social presence and your online reputation. And let me close by adding that this isn't something to become obsessed about. This isn't something that you have to spend a great deal of time on. Indeed, if you simply keep in mind that when you act publicly online, our record is kept and people will make judgments. That's a good filter to approach all of this media.